the United States has one of the highest child poverty rates in all of the Western industrialized world. Um, in the last few years, especially in the wake of the Great Recession, uh, approximately one fifth of all American children were living in poverty in any given year. And moreover, we know that children who grow up in poverty are much more likely to be poor as adults than children who grow up in non-poor families. What I'm interested in um, understanding is why that's true. What are the factors or what are the um, experiences that poor children have that are different than the experiences or the factors that non-poor children have um, that lead to the persistence of poverty across generations. What I like about the, the official measure is that it is, um, it is very simple to understand and it is a very clean way of talking about economic scarcity. There are a lot of things that are correlated with poverty, such as welfare participation, um, a sense of economic or a sense of social isolation, um, the way individuals parent, uh, feelings of stress or worry. What I think is a particularly interesting, um, relatively recent finding related to children is uh, about the policies that are intended to improve children's achievement test scores, which are also correlated with earnings down the road. It suggests that these programs, which are building both cognitive and non-cognitive skills, uh, may have really important impacts on the probability of escaping poverty in the future. Americans are really uh, attached to this idea of the American dream and that and we think that one of the things that makes our country uh, uh, better than other countries is this idea of equality of opportunity and that anyone can make it if they work hard enough. And in fact, the United States is the least mobile of all, all or almost all developed countries in the world. Poverty is essentially um, smothering individuals' potential, right? It means that people, children are growing up without the ability to achieve their potential, and that is inconsistent with what Americans say they want for... Um, uh, that they want their country to be about.